Hello and welcome back. Today we're unboxing this. It's the McLaren MP412C GT3 in 124th scale by Fujimi. So yeah, a bit of Japanese on this side, a couple of pictures as well. And we've got some recommended colours over here. Let's open it up. This was purchased from Kent Models. You can get 10% off your next order with Kent Models by using the code BOB10 at checkout. Give us a nice sticker as well. Screws, wheels, tires, bodywork, and instructions. The McLaren MP412C, later known as just the 12C, was McLaren's second purpose-built road car after the legendary F1, although the SLR McLaren was made with Mercedes. Designed by Frank Stevenson, it had a mid-mounted 3.8-litre V8 twin-turbocharged engine and a fully carbon fibre body, where the C in the name derives. The name carried the MP4 prefix from McLaren Project 4, which was used since 1981. The car shared a characteristic with the F1 car, the MP412, brake steer, where the rear wheels on one side would slow down more than on the other, allowing the car to turn more effectively when on track. In 2010, McLaren announced that they would homologate the car for GT3 class racing. The steering wheel used in the GT3 car was sourced from the MP424 Formula 1 car. Let's start with these. You can see all the parts listed down there at the bottom. Colour placing, decals, that sort of thing. Looks like we've got a fairly simple chassis here. We've actually also got a uh, an axle. Yeah, interior details there. Details for the interior and the engine bay. One seat, which is the racing car. Roll cage. Bodywork, windscreen, extra parts of the body vents and things like that, then putting it all together and there's the final few parts on there. So this one here, we've got parts of the roll cage, we've got some vents, bonnet vents, I think these are the parts for the wing at the back and I can't see any flash on this whatsoever, so that's nice, you can see, also got some aerials up there. All moulded in black. We've got the dashboard, front lip, got some small parts here, including fire extinguisher, brakes, bucket seat, part of the exhaust system, steering wheel. I think those might be calipers. Yeah, I think they are calipers. More brakes, and we've got the interior here. Now, there's quite a nice bit of detail in the interior, including like switches and uh, wiring and stuff like that. It's a shame about the engine. It's a shame this couldn't have a bit more detail. It's all moulded one piece. So here we've got very flat chassis, undercarriage, I should say, diffuser there, sort of partitions, firewall, got some tow hooks. I think these go over the wheels, also got these wheel arches here. Yeah, fairly simple, we've got these parts. So these are the doors, and there's also some other bodywork parts there. We've got the wing mirrors, windscreen wiper, and some other sort of vents and things. So the majority of these will need to be uh, papaya, that kind of shade of orange. Got the clear parts here, I'll keep these in. So you can see the front and side windows are all together. Nice that they've given you the marking for the um, sunstrip and you can see it opening there and some other windows including this one which goes over the back and the headlights the wheels here so you can see slight difference between the front and the rear and we've got these headlight parts and uh, mirrors so it's uh, I wouldn't say it's exactly chrome, I'd say it's more a kind of uh, 
aluminium. Okay, then we've got the bodywork here. Interestingly, we've got all these on the side which will need to be removed. Quite distinctive. We've got some places where there'd be bonnet clips. You can see where the wiper goes. Bits that need to be removed. We've got the uh, fuel filler cap, vents, and uh, yeah, all looks pretty good. And in here we've got the tyres, fairly stiff, and we've also got that metal axle for the rear and some uh, poly caps. And then last but not least, we've got the decals. You can see this one was a fairly simple car, from the looks of it. Not got too many decals on this. We've also got some Michelin tyre decals and we've got some window masks. So that's a nice addition to have. So there we have it. Let me know what you think of this one. Have you ever built one of these? I'd like to know what you think. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.